<coughs> in this video, we're going to look at radioactive isotopes and how they decay into other isotopes. So let's quickly review a few pieces of information about isotopes. One, that the number of protons is always going to be equal to the atomic number. And we can find this atomic number on our periodic table. Our mass number is going to help us figure out the number of neutrons that we have. And this is something that's going to need to be given in a problem. You won't be able to find it on the periodic table. And that mass number is always going to be equal to both the protons and the neutrons. So if you saw an element symbol like this, carbon-12, that's the same as writing carbon-12 as well. Um, the atomic number <coughs> 6 tells you that our element is carbon, and it tells you that it has six protons. My mass number tw is 12, and so I'll subtract my atomic number from my mass number to get six neutrons. A radioactive isotope um, is also called a radioisotope. It's an unstable nuclei, and because it's unstable, it'll emit energy in hopes of forming a more stable nucleus. It will also sometimes emit particles as well to try to become a more stable nucleus. Um, of all of our known isotopes um, that occur naturally, about half of them are unstable, a little more than that. So this is more common than, than otherwise thought. And what's really happening is, this is the, an atom's nucleus right here. And if it is unstable, it's going to try to emit energy and kick out a particle in hopes of reaching a more stable configuration. And the type of particle that's emitted, um, there's a lot of them, but we're gonna just focus on these three right here. Um, alpha particles, which are basically helium nuclei. They're particles that are two neutrons and two protons that are ejected from the nucleus. Beta particles, which are essentially an electron. The nucleus kicks an electron out of it, which is interesting because there shouldn't be an electron in a, a nucleus. We'll talk about this a bit more. Positrons are the opposite of electrons. They're small particles with positive charge, but very little mass. <coughs> um, and then we have gamma rays, and gamma rays are just energy. So they're not, there isn't a particle associated with gamma ray radiation. And so I would like you to be able to, if given these words, recognize what it is that is going to be emitted from your nucleus of your radioactive isotope. Let's look at beta and positron particles a little bit more. I think that helium, or sorry, alpha particles are a little bit more intuitive. It's removing two of the protons and two of the neutrons that are already within the nucleus. But when a beta particle is ejected, it's an electron, and there shouldn't be any negative charge. And what's really happening here is that a neutron is turning into a proton in the nucleus, so it's changing. And it can do this if, if the, the neutron, which has a mass of one, um, and a proton has a mass of one, but if that negative charge splits up into a positive charge and a negative charge. And then in this case, that electron can't exist in the nucleus, and so it goes flying out. And that's the particle that we see emitted as this uh, radioactive isotope decays. Positrons are formed kind of from the opposite situation where a proton becomes a neutron within the nucleus. And so it's like this positive charge and this mass of one separate. And so we have the mass as a neutron and the charge is as our positron. And then this this small mass, positively charged particle is emitted from the nucleus as it decays. So 